Oh, Josh, kids are scared to death. I know mine are. They were texting me from school yesterday. If you have kids in your life, they are more than likely asking a lot of questions right now about Ebola. Uh, clinical psychologists have some advice. Uh, they need to. They say that it is our job as parents to manage their anxiety, and that is done by simply telling them what to do to be safe, like washing your hands and taking good care of yourself. That gives them a better sense of control, which helps lessen that anxiety. Remind them about good hygiene and not catching infections, but not setting off the alarms, that this is just one more infection that's out there that we just need to be cautious and mindful of, but not certainly something that we need to be panicked about. And parents, again, don't panic. Psychologists say, remember, our kids watch and listen to every single thing we do, and they react the same way we do. That makes sense. Now, this is what's disturbing as we enter flu season. Ebola symptoms are very similar to flu symptoms. This is what Ebola looks like, according to the CDC. A fever greater than 101.5 a severe headache, muscle pain, weakness, diarrhea, vomiting, stomach pain, and then unexplained hemorrhaging like bleeding or bruising. Now, these symptoms can appear anywhere from 2 to 21 days after exposure to Ebola, but the average is 8 to 10 days. People who recover from Ebola, by the way, develop antibodies that last for at least 10 years. Now, we want to tell you about a special information hotline set up in Summit County to address your concerns. That number is on your screen right now, 330-926-3939. However, if you were on that Frontier Airlines plane, the Centers for Disease Control wants to hear from you. They want you to call this number, 1-800-CDC-INFO, I-N-F-O. Again, one 800 232 4636. Josh.